Scott Lyons, the 2022 Shootout Hall of Famer with Central Power and Radio. Ruben Cifuentes, 2022 uh, Shootout Hall of Fame inductee. Uh, first with the shootout is probably at Big Thunder. I, I started there back in like 98, something like that, getting boats ready for them and doing that. And then uh, first time participating was probably at the new location over here at Captain Ron's. Uh, I did that, don't know the year, um, but basically we got a ton of the boats ready between Big Thunder and our own company, Central Power, and, and that's how it started. I moved down here in 1998. I come from Texas, I was tractor pulling and we decided to come to the state fair in Missouri and next thing we know we moved here and in 2000 and 2000 uh, Bob Morgan at Big Thunder Marine hired me and I started working for him and I've, every, I've been there for 17 years and then me and Scott in uh, 2001 yeah started our own company Central Power and Rigging and have been there ever since taking care of boats and making sure everybody's happy uh, I don't know about favorite. Um, I was running a customer's boat with SISM at the time, and uh, we had a little hiccup. We were low on fuel, and it's very low on fuel, and lost an engine, and we both talked to each other quickly, <laughs> going down the track at 130 mile an hour, and uh, got it recovered and went through the traps on one engine at pretty good speed. So it was a, I don't know about favorite, but it was, it was a very interesting memory. Though, so. I, not really, I mean, they're all good to me. I, I really don't have no favorite. I mean, I I just love the the people, making sure everybody's happy. And I mean, I don't I don't have no favorite. I don't. I really don't. If I did, it would not be fair to the rest of them. Um, I think on the shootout, people don't uh, realize uh, we used to campaign in several race boats, and he was with Morgan and the Sierra Sebo and all that stuff. And when you go to the races, um, you know, we'll travel to Florida, California, whatever, and do that. The shootout we have in our backyard and anybody can basically get in the boat go run do a big number in that and a lot of people don't realize what it takes to go do that other places i mean it's it's a pretty involved process we're very fortunate to have that in our backyard and have the amount of people that come here for that so being on that side of it, that's that's what i think is a, very unique about it i think it's the people the people are so nice in this lake i mean it's just amazing to and then, I mean, I'm not talking just about the people that live here. I'm talking about the people that show up from around. I mean, and this is not, this has got to be like worldwide now. I mean, people come from all over. And to have friends that come from other states and stuff, it's just amazing to see that kind of group of people that show up to one area of the Midwest to have fun. To me, I, I, I'm very appreciative. The, uh, the Mount, I, I think it's, there's so many people involved with this for me to say I got the honor. I mean, there's other, there's, there's so many volunteers, so many other people. I'm very, very thankful of that. It's just, I think there, if you look at the big picture, there's a lot of people that put in time and effort for this. And that's, that's what I'm very appreciative about that, that it all comes together. I mean, it's not just one person. It's, it's the way I look at it. But. This is pretty amazing. I mean, I would have never, I would have never imagined that I would ever get to be here, but like I said, it's not, like he said, it's not just about me. It's about all the people that helped and got to, got me to where I am today. I mean, that's, that's the biggest, you know, of my whole deal is all the people that actually helped to get me here. There's a lot of people there. Uh, actually, it was a uh, <laughs> funny story. Uh, Mark Mawson called me and said, hey, are you going to be at the shop? And I thought that was kind of odd because of the timing of the day and stuff. And I, and uh, of all people, Don Unkin was actually at the shop when I got there of the, uh, uh, you know, oil filter recycler and all that, Don. I've known Don for a long time. And so Don was there and Mark showed up and just kind of him and hawing around, you know, and he's like, well, I might as well just tell you. And he's like, hey, you're Hall of Fame inductee. I'm like, oh, and Don was there and he was very excited and, and all that. So the timing was pretty good. And Don was a former Hall of Famer. So it was pretty neat on that. So. And I think Ruben was still sleeping, so that's yeah. why Mark called him to tell him to let him know. So yeah, it's quite the interesting. So a little too early in the morning for Mark to come by, but that's how we found out. So. I actually, that's how I found yeah, out. Mark called, called me. Yeah. And I was still in bed. We worked <laughs> late the night before, yeah. and I was still sleeping. And then I got to the shop, and Scott goes, "Did Mark call?" I mean, yeah, but he's probably joking, ain't he? I go, "No, he's, <laughs> yeah. he's actually telling you the truth." So right. that's how I found out about it. Um, yeah, I mean. 
really, I, I want to say, I mean, the whole lake area. I mean, this is, to me, it's, 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 it's turned into a whole lake area wide event. And without all that coming together, we wouldn't be here doing what we're doing with all this right here today. Um, you know, the shootout, a lot of our customers, I mean, if, if they didn't want to spend the time and money and the effort for the boats, we wouldn't be doing it. You know I mean? So it's kind of uh, definitely them. And then and again, like I said, the volunteers, I've, we've been through it when it was at the other side and over here, there's a lot of behind the scenes that I don't think people realize. And that's, that's what I appreciate that. You know, I, but the only person that I would actually give a thanks is Bob Morgan. Like I said, I worked for the man for 17 years and we had a hell of a time together. And, but the last 21 years that me and him, we've, I mean, it's all about the customers. It's all about the people that we meet and we take care of their boats and stuff. I mean, that's that's the whole key is, you know, those, I mean, some of these customers are not just customers. I mean, they become, you know, close friends. Like, you know, yeah. we're here with uh, uh, Doc Doc Jensen, you know, I mean, we just, we, I mean, all these guys, we, I mean, yeah, they're customers, but we are, you know, I mean, we can't, you know, it's just amazing how many people we can thank. And I'll probably be here all night thanking people.